this is sweet June 2010 how's everybody doing it's been an exhausting week for me it's been a really exhausting week so glad that it's Friday just want to relax chill out you know the rest <laughs> I want to talk about um, the Milwaukee riots apparently a black man got shot uh, I'm not really trying to go into all the details, but he got shot by the police um, and um, the community. Um, I guess uh, over time, you know, there's been a lot of things building up, you know, uh, the community is fed up, you know, um, with the, not just the police brutality and shootings, but, you know, poverty and everything, you know, racism that, you know, we all have to endure as black people throughout the country. And a lot of things build it up, you know, apparently it's a lot of things build it up so this was kind of like the, what this incident kind of like broke the ice you know so to speak and um, there you know um, what I'm what I don't understand is um, I just want to address the fact that you know um, I first of all I'm gonna say this black people I know that you're angry I'm angry I'm, I'm angry and pissed off about all the racism that's going on in this country. Um, this is 2016. We should be past this by now. We shouldn't, us black people shouldn't still have to be worried about getting killed by the police. Um, we shouldn't have to be dealing with all this racism now. And I mean, with you know, I'm pissed, you know. Uh, I think every black person in America, uh, unless they're living under a rock, is upset about you know the racism um how it seems to still be a major issue and um a lot of every black person is frustrated by the the, the, the cop shootings and all that kind of stuff um and i get that because i'm upset about those things too i i'm concerned about those things i live in the black community so i'm upset about those things as well so i get it i get it that black people are upset about it i'm upset about it too we're, we're all upset about it. And believe it or not, there's probably some white people that's outraged about it too. Um, however, with that being said, what I don't understand is why do black people have to destroy their own resources? Why do you have to destroy your own resources? Why is it when you get mad, like when a cop kills a black person and they take him to court and they find him not liable, whatever, they, you know, not find him guilty. Why do black people go and destroy their own communities? I don't understand it. I don't get it. Why are you destroying your own resources? Why do black people destroy their own resources? It doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. First of all, excuse me, do you honestly think that white people care about you destroying your own stuff? <laughs> do you honestly think that white people care? They don't care. White people do not care about black people burning down their own community. Newsflash. They don't care. They honestly don't care. They don't live in a black community. They figure as long as you don't come into their neighborhood and try to burn down their stuff, they still have their resources. They're good. All they're going to do, I'm telling you what white people are doing. Not Maybe not all of them. They're looking at the way black people are destroying their own communities. And they're laughing. They're laughing at you. They're calling you savages. They're calling you violent. And it's a, it's a justification. And then... They feel it. Well, that's why they're getting shot, and that's why they get a kill. That's and then that's why, and then they start to go into the justification, to start to go into justifying why black people get killed by the police. Well, that's why they get killed by the police because they're violent, they're savages. That's why they get killed by the police when they see black people destroying their own communities. They begin to justify. The police shootings they begin to justify the, the police brutality and the racism against blacks in their mind i'm not saying all white people but a lot of them they start to justify so it's not you're not 
you're not making things happen by burning down your own communities. So I just don't understand why black people do that. Why black people, when black people get upset and outrage, why do they go and burn down? The, and burning down someone else's community is not the answer either. I, I, I will go out there saying that. Destroying someone else's community is not the answer either. That's not the answer. That is not the answer, black people. It's not the answer. I don't understand why black people think that that's um, solving the problem. I don't understand why they, they think that justice is going to be served by destroying their own communities. I, I don't get it. Because it's, it's not. You know, white people look at that and they'll see that as a justification for the violence and the racism. It's, it's not helping. In a lot of, some cases, they're probably laughing at you. Oh, they stupid. They burning down their own stuff. They're calling you stupid for burning down your own communities. You're destroying your own resources. It doesn't make sense, black people. I know you're angry. I get it. I'm angry. I'm upset. But I'm a Christian, and I'm not going to go out there and be burning anything down. And I, well, I like to think that I'm a logical person and it just defies common logic I'm not gonna go like I have a save a lot in a Dollar General that's by my house and a Walgreens that's by my house okay I'm not that's in my neighborhood okay I'm not gonna go I'll get pissed off at the police for some reason I'm just, this is this I'm just, this is this a parable so I go down the street and, and burn up my Walgreens and burn up my Dollar General and burn up my save a lot that's in the neighborhood. Well, I go to sleep and at some point you got to go to sleep. You got to go to bed. And you get up and you want to go to the store. You can't go to the store because you burnt the store down. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking in my mind... I'm thinking that it's not logical because I'm a logical thinker and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind that it's not logical. It doesn't make any sense. And when I, I think in terms of myself, in my community, you know, I have a Rite Aid, a Walgreens, a Dollar General, and a Save-A-Lot in my neighborhood. Now all I got to do is go down the street, little ways down the street, and I can go to the store say I want to pick up some milk or juice or, and I don't want to drive out yonder to get the milk and the juice so I go down the street to the save a lot and pick up some milk or juice or eggs or whatever that I need I'm coming home from work I don't want to drive way out yonder to go get just a, a gallon of milk or some juice so I can just go down the street to the save a lot bam and pick up the stuff and then come on and shoot on home well, it's logical and it makes sense. Well, if you burn down stores in your community, if I burn down my stores in my community, then I can't go get, I have to drive out yonder now. If, if, if I just need a gallon of milk, I got to drive way out yonder to go get the gallon of milk now. Because I destroyed my store. See, it doesn't make any sense. If I want to go to Dollar General, they sell a lot of, I go there to uh, get my my uh, toilet paper and, um, you know, my dish liquid and things like that, you know. And, you know, stuff for the house, you know, stuff for the crib and stuff. Now, I, you know, they got, as, as a lot of other cities, they got several of those in town. Well, they got them in different places. But the ones closest to me. Well, I, I can just, if I need something, like get some dish liquid or something right quick, I can shoot on down the street, pick it up, and come on home. Or if I'm just coming, if I'm coming back home from somewhere, uh, from work or something like that, I, well, I, I need to go in and pick up some, uh, you know, shower gel or something like that, or personal items or toothpaste or something like that. Well, let me shoot on to the Dollar General right quick and pick it up and, and I can shoot home. Well, if I burn the store down, I... I I got to drive way out yonder and get that stuff. I got to go to another Dollar General, which the second Dollar General is not that far. But it's not, it's, 
It's far. It's further than the one that's in my neighborhood. See, because they pretty much got one in every neighborhood. So see, it wouldn't make any sense for me to burn down my own stores in my own community. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, when they when they wake up in the in the morning, and they wants to get some milk or whatever, or juice or whatever they need, and they go to the store, they can't go to the store because it's burned down. They burned it down. See, I'm a logical thinker, so in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, you, you can't get what you need now. You got to go, especially Milwaukee's a big city. Milwaukee ain't no small place. So, you know, my dad used to live in Milwaukee. And, Mil and I've been there a couple times, and Milwaukee is not a small place. <laughs> it's a big city. And so, you just destroyed your store and all that stuff in your own community. Okay, so now you got to drive way out yonder to go get your, your eggs and your milk or whatever the things that you need for the house. It don't even make no sense. I'm sorry, people. I mean, I live in a small city, but everything is spread out. It's, it's, it's small, but everything is spread out. So, um... The stores, like I say, the, the save a lot and stuff like that is closer to my house. Okay, I don't want to, I have to drive way out yonder to another store if all I have to do is drive down the street. What if I'm chilling at the crib and I don't want to drive that far and I need some milk and eggs and all that kind of stuff? Well, all I have to do is go down the street. Okay, so see, it doesn't make any sense for me to destroy and burn down my own stuff. I also have a Burger King, a Arby's, a Walgreens, White A's, Dollar General, and a Save a Lot. All in my neighborhood. Okay. And uh did I say yeah, Burger King. So I have all those places in my neighborhood. Okay? And then I and then there's a store right around the corner that's closer than the Save a Lot. I, there's another store. It's like a, one of those neighborhood stores. It's like one of those neighborhood grocery stores. That's just around the corner. That's even closer. That store is even closer than the Save a Lot. That's okay. If I if, let's say I don't feel like well, that store is more expensive. But let's say you know well, I don't feel like going way down the street to the Save a Lot. I can just hit uh, bend a couple corners and bam, I'm at the other store. Now if I burn that one down. Guess what? <laughs> we don't have a neighborhood store. That's like kind of like a neighborhood store. If I burn it down, well, we ain't got no neighborhood store. In, uh, in, in the same area as that store, there's a chicken place and an ice cream place. So they're both in the same building. See? And then there's a restaurant across the street. What if I burn out, burn down all that? Then I don't have, oh, and, and, I, and there's also a hair store over by the Save-A-Lot. There's a hair store. Now, I, I, I burn down the hair store. I can't go get my, my stuff for my hair. So, see, it doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense, black people. Why are you destroying your own resources? You are destroying your own resources. And you think that it, that's going to make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. It don't even make no sense. See? White people will look at you and they will laugh. They will call you stupid. Because the reason why is because it defies logic. It doesn't make sense. That's just like you get pissed off at the government and you burn down your own house. Or you, you get mad because you have to pay taxes on your house. And you burn down your own house. Or somebody robbed your house or whatever, and then you get mad and you burn down your own house. Well, what sense does that make? Now you have no house to live in. It doesn't make, you wouldn't burn down your own house. That's, it's like, it doesn't make any sense, black people. I know you're angry. I'm angry. Okay, we're all angry. But burning down the community and looting the community is not the answer, my black people. It's not the answer. Go to the Supreme Court. 
go to the save up your money everybody get your money together and go to the supreme court and petition the supreme court to do something about police getting off on these shootings make them press the local governments okay that's what you do you save up your money get you know all your bunch of people in the community get your money together and go to Washington DC and appeal to the Supreme Court you know they got they got a I guess they got a part where people can go in and they can they can talk about different things okay bunch of, a bunch of people from the community come together save your money get your money together and go to the Supreme Court okay and petition the federal government to do something to press the local government to press the local government and the local police system to do something about the police brutality the police profile the police shootings get the federal government to press the local government and your local communities that's what you do you and you can also sue them you can also sue the police a lot of people do that that's what you do in peaceful protests I'm a Christian I don't do that but people are doing peaceful protests yeah that I guess you know yeah it gets a, it gets some meshes across okay that's what you can do black people but burning down your own communities is not the answer. I repeat, destroying and burning down your own communities is not the answer. And, you know, I, I think it's a lot of ways. I, I think that some people are not even thinking about that. I think some people, I hate to say it, but I think that some black people are actually looking at doing that so they can rob the store. So they can go in and just take items out of the store and they just kind of use that as an excuse now I'm not saying that that's the motive of every black person is doing it but I do believe that that's probably the motive motive of some of them it doesn't make any sense black people it doesn't make any sense why are you doing it you get upset you burn down your own communities it doesn't make any sense okay lot it doesn't I'm a logical thinker and to me it doesn't make any sense okay let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this what you think about this writing thing every time something happens black people want to burn down and destroy their own communities um, let me know what you guys think come on talk to me more interesting videos to come up this is sweet June 2010